What Casey learns every time we're outdoors, but especially in a situation that's so ecologically intact, is the curiosity of nature. There's so much happening in every nook and cranny. Old growth forests play such a special role. We've always had an aspect of our forests that have been old growth. Old growth forests support things that cannot live in, under any other circumstances. They depend on that. Mount St. Helens, it's a national monument, it's a treasure. It's largely surrounded by the Gifford Pinchot National Forest and the Central Cascade Mountain Range, right in a corridor that we know wildlife have depended on for the millennia. The threat out here was really unsuspected. The housing market was really booming and development was going in in unlikely places like out here, far into the woods. In 2008, we all know that that housing market dropped dramatically. So what we have out here are failed developments, things that got halfway or two thirds of the way done and stopped. Our goal was to conserve 20,000 acres. And my role was to work with the landowner and the county and the stakeholders to figure out a strategy to conserve this area. Part of our goal was to keep it in working forestry, and that has a lot to do with where it is geographically and culturally. This forest conservation project is in Skamania County. Skamania County's history is in forestry. For 200 years, they have been dedicated to forestry as their primary economy. It's the lifeblood. So even today, there's a feeling of conflict with environmentalism and forestry, and we're trying to find that middle ground some real challenges on the federal level to get this kind of work done. So we're using it as an opportunity. We think this is a model of forestry that needs to be extended onto adjacent lands. We are managing towards a structurally diverse old forest. We're thinning trees to do that. And as we thin trees, we give the remaining trees more room to grow and they'll grow bigger faster. The Land Trust hired my firm, Integrated Resource Management, to oversee everything that needs to get done in terms of the thinning of the forest. It's like 98% Douglas fir is what's growing in the forest. And our goal, as we thin these stands, is to release the other species. So in 20 years, we'll have greater diversity and then we'll enhance that diversity on the next thinning so that we can drive this back to the natural structure of what it was. Forestry is all about the stewardship of the land, and it's about having a land ethic and doing the right thing for the land first, but also maintaining the economics. The Land Trust right now is providing all sorts of jobs to local folks who are doing the logging, who are doing the reforestation. It's a significant economic impact in the local community. I think on the landscape, we need more of the creative management like the Land Trust is doing. It's the first time we ever funded something on this scale. The two big things that made it fundable were that almost everybody didn't want to see it go to houses. So there was a unanimous desire to keep it in forestry. And then there are endangered species out here. Bull trout are an old species of trout. They live at high elevation. Typically, you don't see them below 4,000 feet in altitude. They come here to Pine Creek and Pine Creek has kind of cut itself this narrow canyon through hundreds of feet of ash and pumice. There's a bunch of ice and snow melt and it stays cold throughout the summer. It's that cold water that attracts the bull trout to come in and spawn there. They really like cold water. You go back and snorkel four or five times through the summer, you can see the same fish. Kind of get to know them. They're just pretty majestic. The fact that they are on the endangered species list with a threatened status, you know, makes me realize that we need to try and protect them. Over the years, the habitat has improved naturally. It'll continue to improve with the land trust acquisition. And now, by far, the greater number of swanning activity occurs in Pine Creek and its tributaries.
fourth and final phase is about six or 7,000 acres. We hope to complete that final phase in 2017. Columbia Land Trust essentially conserves land with the idea that it's got to be conserved for habitat and wilderness and for people forever. When you're in an old growth forest, you can kind of sense things differently. You just know how important they are and how rare they are. My hope for Casey as she grows is that she will always be connected to nature, that she'll be able to reach it and be in it and appreciate it even when she can't touch it, that she knows that the life that nature sustains is the very life that sustains her. And so she can see her connectedness as part of the world. I really hope she, her whole life imbues that kind of generosity.